is the day this is the day that the lord has made that the lord has made i will rejoice i will rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it this is the day that the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in it this is the day o oh glory this is the day that the lord has made well it is a good sunday i am so glad you're tuning in i'm trying to see if we're being seen all over the world and i'm not it looks like once again uh youtube is not connecting i'm so sorry about that uh let me just see if i can add a desk i'll show y'all what i'm doing while i'm doing this new destination uh youtube oops sorry microphone fell over youtube now go youtube uh youtube let's do youtube two next next let's see if this works Are you doing a yeah, no i'm live uh, Mark Lowry Productions. Can I, can I yeah. Uh, let's see. Yes, let's say you, you to, yes. Authentication failed because streaming is not enabled, and that's not true. Well, y'all, shoot, fire. It's still not working right. I cannot believe it, but I'm glad you tuned in. Listen, I've got a big announcement coming up tomorrow. Let's see if everybody's watching on Facebook, though, because I've got to make sure I can read your comments. You should be live on Facebook. It should be live on, let's see, back. Let me go back. Cancel. We should be live everywhere but YouTube. I don't understand it. I'm not happy about it, but I'll figure it out eventually. Anyway, y'all, we got two viewers on Dinner Conversations. We got 214 viewers on my Facebook page, and I don't know how many on Twitter. But wherever you're watching, I'm so glad you're tuned in. Let's try and see if we can get this YouTube started again. I, it's just frustrating. So anyway, let me go over here and... I wanted to tell you, my dear friend, Lou Hildreth, passed away. Uh, her funeral is going to be Tuesday. Lou Wills Hildreth, a legend in gospel music. Uh, she is, you've seen her on the Gaither videos. In fact, let me just show you her picture. Let me just show you her picture. Where is it? just us here today and Dina back there across the yard she's got about eight girlfriends over there and they wanted some of my pie okay which I'm gonna show you also tomorrow night on Mondays with Mark listen Mondays with Mark is gonna be exciting I'm gonna show you how to make key lime pie I made a video of it okay what was I gonna do okay YouTube's still not working um oh I was gonna Read your comments on Facebook. Oh, Lou Wills Hildreth. That's what I was going to do. Don't ever get... I wanted to show you her picture so you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. i got to find the overlays. Uh, the scenes. Where is it? This is so frustrating, y'all. And I had it all prepared. Well, I'll show you tomorrow night. If you don't know who Lou Wills Hildreth is, Google it. Lou Wills Hildreth, and uh, her funeral is going to be Tuesday here in Houston. She's from Houston at the um, West University Baptist Church located at 6218 Auden Street, A-U-D-E-N Street, here in Houston, Texas. And I'm sure, oh, I don't even know what time it is, but call the church if you want to go. What a legend she was. You know, she was my booking agent. When I was 11 years old, and I signed that recording contract with the Benson Company, Impact Records, I was 11, 
And she became my booking agent, the Skylight Talent Agency. And she just passed away. She was in her 90s. So let me see if we I can see if you are tuned in. All right, let's go down here. You should, should be right here. If I tap on that, will it let me see the comments? All right, I tap there. Was... There you are. I can see you. Leonard Sanchez, Sharon Nichols Ward. Uh, yeah, I was 11 years old, Janie Marks. My parents took me to the National Quartet Convention. It was, hey, Eddie Gall, Shelton Laverne, Gay Williams, D. Hart. They're all tuned in, my friends. So, uh, yo, yeah, good. Key lime pie is one of my favorite pies. Linda Kissling. Thank you, Linda. Howard Greer, Sean Smith, Shannon Cortman, uh, Terry Alexander McDonald from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. What does your shirt say? Patrick Henry Hall wants to know that God is crazy about you. I wear my own shirts. Yes, I do. Uh, I wouldn't create them if I didn't love them. And you can get this off my marklowry.com slash store if you want one. Jennifer Schwartz, I see a doggy back there. That was Bo. And then Dina lives across the yard back there. She's got a bunch of friends visiting all from New York City. They're all like in their 20s. They're uh, girls that we've helped. When one of them, Dina and I, not me particularly, but Dina's helped raise kind of Colleen. And it's all her girlfriends from New York City. And so that's fun. Uh, you got your glass of tea too, Deborah Dyke? It's good, unsweet. I'm drinking unsweet now. I don't drink sweet tea anymore. I've learned to like unsweetened tea. I don't put sweet and low, anything else in it. Linda Wright says, I saw Shonda last night still laughing. Oh, isn't she great? I love me some Shonda Pierce. So anyway, hey, Jeffrey, Lynn, Pulley. Boy, you put all those names on there. I love loving Jesus. Yes, I love Jesus. That's why I started singing, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. And it's a pretty day. It's sunny in Houston. Hello from Lewisburg. So hello, North Carolina, Lewisburg, Joy Burnett Thorne. I'm sitting here in Houston. And tomorrow night, I was going to tell you, okay, tomorrow night, Monday night, Mondays with Mark, the reason why I'm getting on here today is mainly to let you know that tomorrow night, hopefully on YouTube, but definitely on Facebook and Twitter, uh, my guest will be Tiffany Coburn from Voctive, and, uh, a, well, not a surprise, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Andrew Greer is coming to town from Dinner Conversations, you know, dinner-conversations.com. And uh, we're going to be shooting some more Dinner Conversations right here in Houston. I told them I'd keep doing it if they'd do them here. And so we are. We're going to do them in my house, do some Dinner Conversations. And there's a big announcement about Dinner Conversations tomorrow night. In fact, let me see if it yeah, that's about time. I told him I'd Skype him about this time. So let me see if this will work. Who knows? Let's go to Skype. Andrew Greer, let's see if we can get him on, on the line. That's the way. You hear that? I don't know what to do. Oh, I must have, okay, let me try that again. That's a weird thing. He's not answering. He's going to miss his big opportunity. Well, there he is. Hold on. Andrew? Yeah. Hold on. Let me see if I can get you on here. Yeah, okay. wait, I don't see yo. Okay, turn on your, uh, wait a second. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Turn there on your go. camera. There you are. Now turn it sideways. 
<laughs> See if, yeah, there it is. Andrew Greer, what are you doing today? Well, I'm pulling over on the side of the road. <laughs> Don't have a wreck. I'm not going to. I am I'm moving into a new house. Are you? Well, it's an old house, but it's new to me. How old is it? 1957. Nine, that's a year before I was born. I know. So we're talking historic. Oh, 61 year old house. That's right. Just think you could have been born in that house. I could have. Who would have known? Even more, even more so. Are we live? Yeah, we're live right now. Hey, everybody. Hey, we got a big announcement tomorrow night, don't we? That's we do. We do. Actually, this is the biggest announcement probably of my career, not of yours. <laughs> well, it's pretty close. It is. It's a pretty, it's pretty big one. Yeah. Dinner conversations related, of course, as yes. you can imagine. Yeah. Dinner, dinner. If you go to dinner-conversations.com, we will be live tomorrow night from my house. Uh, we will be live making this announcement. And it's at 7 p.m. Central Time. Let's see, what else can we tell them that we can't tell them yeah. right now? Or we don't want to. We out. could tell you. Yes, we could tell you. We could. <laughs> it's killing me not to tell you. But we're not going to. Here's what we know. There's quite a few people who've been, you know, kind of chomping at the bit about what's next for Dinner Conversations. This will actually be worth the wait. I do believe that. I think that. Yeah. I, for those people. You yeah. know, a lot of people hype up big announcements, but come on. And a lot of people don't even care. That's right. You know, we got to get them to care. That's right. But, I'm in Nashville, you're in Houston, but tomorrow I'm in Houston with you. Yes, you are. And what are we going to be doing? We're going to be shooting some dinner conversations. Tomorrow night, you'll be making, helping me make the big announcement on Mondays with Mark, along with Tiffany Coburn. Do you know her? Uh, no, you know, I don't think Tiffany I've met, but I know of Tiffany. Oh, she's, sure. she's amazing. I interviewed her. It was so much fun. I'll be playing the interview. And then also I'll be showing everybody, Colleen and I will be showing everybody how uh, to make key lime pie. Are you going to have some for me? Well, actually, Dina came over here and grabbed the last few pieces. Uh, <laughs> for, for, she's got a bunch of girlfriends over there. And so tomorrow... I'll probably have to make one, and then we'll eat it on the show after I've shown that, the video. We could actually eat them on the filming too the next day. Well, that's true. It is dinner conversations. We have you got eat. dinner all lined up for our conversations? You know what? I haven't even thought about this. <laughs> I thought you were going to make it. Oh, we could. I could. I could make my famous uh, El Paso tacos. You get those crunchy shells from Kroger. And then you get hamburger meat. Now, I do put all my spice. I put chili powder and garlic and onion and a lot of black pepper, salt. I make, you know, I do that myself sometimes, or else I just buy the packet. You can't just buy the packet. The packet's really good. It is good, isn't it? Yeah. I let's can let's see what anybody it. wants oh. to. Oh, Linda Kisling said, I care. Sarah Dell says, I care. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Shirlene Stahl said, I love dinner conversations. She put a little heart. Hugh and Linda Haddock, for, hi from uh, Hilliard, Florida. Hello. Hello, nice. Pat what? Sims from Austin. Look at all these people. Nice. Did you tell them about, you know how I laugh all the time or I like kind of giggle? Yeah. No, no, but thing? you do. He does. He giggles at stuff that isn't even funny. That's <laughs> true. Sure. Like that. Yes. Like that. I, I'm an encourager. I'm an encouraging spirit. I'm a spirit of encouragement. So. Huh. You know the spirit of God. Doesn't they say like like one uh, one potential element of the spirit of God in someone's life is laughter? Hey, here's something funny. Betty Mack said, "Know what the difference is between ignorance and apathy? Don't know and don't care." <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's funny, Betty. That's actually going to be the title of the next show. Hey, Kate Wendland said, we'll come make you dinner. Kate, do you live in Houston? Should we let Kate come make dinner for us? Ask her Does anybody live in Houston like to come make dinner <laughs> for dinner conversation? That might be a good idea. That would be we get idea. some of those good United Pentecostals. If you're a United Pentecostal and you want to come make dinner, 
you are more than welcome because let me tell you those women know how to cook they never were allowed they would never were allowed to watch the food network so they had to learn on their own because they weren't allowed to have tv back in the day but let me tell you something some of the best meals i've ever had okay uh do you make a good lemon pie debbie wants to make well you know the key lime pie is just just put lemon juice in it instead of key lime same thing what were you saying What'd you say, Andrew? Yeah, I've never made a pie before. Well, okay, it's sunny there in Florida, Patty Hickman Bias says. Isn't, it, isn't that a funny joke? Everybody's laughing at Betty's joke. No, no, don't care. I think that's a great show title. Apathy and ignorance. What do you, yeah. I have probably more ignorance than apathy. But I don't know, I'm pretty apathetic about a lot of things. I just don't get involved in uh, a lot of things, you know, like all that political talk. In four years, it'll be different. What would the great things have a show called Apathy and Ignorance have guests on and don't pay attention to them? <laughs> you know that guy between the ferns, what's his name? Have you not heard of that? Uh, Aphilaphilaphicus or whatever his name is. He's a where the red bird? Between, no, there's a show, a podcast he's done for years where he will bring, it's called Between the Ferns, I think. And he brings on like, he's brought on Obama, he's brought on uh, movie stars, he's brought on presidents, and he'll just sit there and ask the stupidest and act like they're nothing. <laughs> You've never seen this thing? This, I can't believe he has the nerve to do it. I don't have that much nerve. It sounds brilliant. He is funny. We don't have to have the nerve. That's just what we do naturally. <laughs> I know. Mine's ignorance. <laughs> well. If you can find you a good mama Sita to make us some good Southwest, you know. Well, let me see if anybody responded. Do you make the crust too? Yes, the crust is. I make the crust too of the pie, and you'll see that in the video I show tomorrow night. Uh, you know what my favorite dessert is? What? Rum cake. That's my favorite dessert. So, oh, Helen Wells Nash said, Mark, dear, you've always been significant lazy. Ask Tori. Well, now, Helen Wells Nash, I am lazy. That's why I'm in my lazy boy. But looky here. I'm in my lazy boy, and there's hundreds of people watching, and I'm not even leaving the house. And where are you? I'm in my car in Nashville. Actually, I'm in my friend's suburban because I'm picking up furniture. Yeah, it's starting to jerk, too. Your mouth's not with your face. Oh, and Your I mouth's over there. It's freezing in New York, Nancy Brad, Brad, Bradum, B-R-A-D-U-M. So there's not one person in Houston said, hey, I'll come cook. Now that I've invited everybody, everybody shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, tomorrow night then what we'll do, uh, if you are, uh, make sure you're on the Facebook page or if you're watching on Twitter, oh, look at there. Oh, wait. What happened? I don't know. I think my phone's starting to... You no, know, you turned it around. Um, oh. So tomorrow night, uh, Andrew will be my guest. Colleen will be here. She's kind of become my co-host. I she, love that. She's just... She's so... I love her. She's so sweet. She's bossy. And she, well, she's not. Dean is bossy. Colleen's... She kind of goes along with the flow. And, and I love to ask her things that she doesn't want me to ask. Like well, like how was school and stuff. She always says something positive, but I really try to get her to tell the dirt. <laughs> but she's gonna have to wait till she retires before she spills the beans on the children. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's right. I can't wait to meet her. I haven't met her. I've heard all about her. Yeah, Colin, and she's going on the cruise. For all of you going on the cruise, Dean is going on the cruise. A lot of my friends, my brother. His uh, wife and uh, a bunch of their friends are coming on the cruise. That cruise is going to be like a family reunion. It's going to be fun. I'm not going. Well, that's why it's going to be family. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Andrew. It's, uh, if I was in Houston, I'd love to cook, Lyn Lynette Weeb says. Well, Lynette, move to Houston. No, don't. Yeah. Don't, don't do My that just to cook. I'm trying to recover from ba a bad fall, says Christy Roberts. Well, don't fall, Christy. Don't do that. Try not to fall. You know, Maybe you we'll just cater from your favorite place in Houston. What's your favorite place? What's your favorite eating? Well, eating? there'd be Ninfas on Navigation oh, for Mexican wow. food. 
There'd be Cleburne Cafeteria for good home cooked food. I've shown everybody who knows my page, Cleburne. Uh, do you do your own shopping at Kroger? Don Thebo wants to know. Well, Don, yesterday I tried the app where you, you fill out what you want and you go drive up, you call them, they bring it out to the car. It worked. It worked. So they now, have, right? So no, I don't do my own shopping as of yesterday. <laughs> but it is fun <laughs> to walk through the store, you know. So yeah, yeah. I do my own I like shopping. To go to my friends in person. You do what? <laughs> I like to go get my cigarettes in person. <laughs> oh, you're so silly. <laughs> my shirt says Betty Mac. God is crazy about you. Well, I don't uh, look. I look forward to Mondays. So do I, Pat Rice. She says she looks forward to Mondays. And now, when will dinner conversations? Is that when will it release to the podcast world like it has before? Or do we know yet? Yeah, season two will be out in April. In April, but no, we don't know when. Uh, I would if I was looking at my calendar. Well, it's the first Monday in April. What? It's the first what? Monday in April. First Monday in April. April so, 8th. so wherever you get your podcasts, uh, and if you don't know what a podcast is, search for it on your phone for apps and just type in podcast. If you have an iPhone, it'll pop up and you touch it and then put in dinner conversations with Mark Lowry and Andrew Greer. If you need that much information, it should pop up and, and then make, sh make sure you're subscribed. So when we re do release it, because he's always late, that is one thing about Andrew. <laughs> I've had to teach him to be on time. But you it, know why? And you've done do good. Do you know why I'm always late? Do you know why I'm late? Why? I had friends like you wanting to Skype in the middle of my drive time. Now I'm late to my next place. Where are you headed? I'm headed to Cindy's house, Cindy Morgan's house. Oh, there's a name dropper if I've ever heard it. <laughs> I'm getting a couch from her. <laughs> You're getting a who? A couch. I need another couch for my house. She, oh, really? Yeah, she's got an extra one that she's not using that I love. Well, Martha T. Sanders says she's excited to hear the new big announcement. I am excited to tell you, and I hope you think it's as big as we do. But it is pretty stinking big. We think it's pretty cool. I, I'm excited. I am too. Well, everybody, we will see you tomorrow night um, at 7 p.m. Central. Right here on Facebook, Twitter, uh, hopefully YouTube. If not, I'll be, I'll be reposting it immediately to YouTube after uh, it goes live, like I will do this one too. So I'll see you tomorrow night, Monday nights with Mark, 7 p.m. And Andrew will be there. Tiffany Coburn will be my special guest. She even sings a little bit. And Andrew hopefully will be sober. Bye, Peace everybody. And love. Peace and love.